celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before. This is Gap, the Great American Broadcast Network. I guess I'm just having to sing all by myself. That's the way it is, kiddo. Yeah, that's the way it is. Ah, yeah. Ah. I don't like this song either. That's why I won't sing. To it. Why don't you like the song? Yeah, I like the other one. But the other one I can't play without them suddenly making me have to send them notification yeah but then I, you can get the notification and get it done yeah but it caught now it costs me money for that notification oh god i have to pay an extra 49 dollars a year now so that the the people who license me the music will go out and defend it for me well then pay it you said what? you were paying it well i d don't want to but i did oh then play it Play it. it yeah. I'll get a notification, but and then I have to. But I, then the, you're no, paying for the them first to thing. Take do you, care do of you it. want to write the note to to no, to, it's your to, job. to YouTube? It's your job. See, I mean, it's this. I only play a second of it. Just a second. Well, of play it. the last part. The last. I can't. I can't. It's no fun. <laughs> Go ahead. Continue no. singing. No. But if I if I play more than that, I I have problems. They, I and I don't I don't know why. Oh hey, people can't, can't even see who I'm talking to. There she is. <laughs> Gee, every week that you're on, you're getting older. Well, that's true. Uh, yeah, there's no going older. the other direction. Huh? There's no going the other. What was that movie with Brad Pitt where he went Benjamin? Benjamin Button. Buttons. Yeah, Benjamin Button. And then he grew, uh, he grew, he grew into a baby. Into a baby, and then he—I guess he just disappeared into the cosmos or something. He became a zygote. He just died. Zygote. I guess you could die in reverse. Of course. Yeah, but uh, 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 I don't know. I thought it was a rather stupid idea for a story. That was interesting. Well, uh, yeah. and then you were watching. What you so, watching? what did Snyder recommend today? I don't know. I don't okay. care. I don't listen to him. <laughs> I don't either. I don't listen to him. He just does the movie oh. reviews, and I record them, and then I place them on the on the on the net. And if people want to, he did I recommend uh, uh, Deadpool. Oh, we're seeing that. We're seeing Deadpool that two on yeah. Sunday. Yeah, but you got fair reviews. Yeah. So it's just like the first, but more. Yeah, but every week he, he says to me, he says like, "Well, did you see uh, did you see uh, the uh, Avengers the movie, Numa Avenger?" I went, "No." He doesn't understand the cost of going to a movie. Well, because he he gets freebies. Because he gets freebies. I think reviewers should have to see have you to ha pay. Should have to pay to see a movie. I think they would have a slightly different opinion about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. You know, so um, I'm gonna turn on the air conditioning. So we get a little uh, AC in here. The only thing is they can then hear the hum of the, but it's white noise, so it doesn't matter. Whatever. Anyway, so no, so so he, you know, he, he kind of said, why, why didn't you go see it? Well, uh, let's see here. First of all, for two tickets, how much does it cost for two tickets to see it in 3D? Probably uh, like 40 something. No, uh, $42, all right? Then the taxi. Then there's the taxi to and from which comes to a total of another $25. So that's now we're up to what? We're up to 65, something like that? Plus the soda. Plus the soda, the candy, the stuff like that, another 15. So what you're talking about is $80 to go see a movie. And then if you go and it sucks. You're pissed. Or you go and like with Black Panther, <laughs> you can't see the picture on the screen. Now when I say the movie was too dark, I'm not referring to the ethnic quality of the film. It was dark. You couldn't see anything. You couldn't see anything. And I had to go down to the... Uh, get the manager get and take him to the movie next door. Well, first I went to the, uh, I guess the assistant manager or something. He said, well, I changed the bulbs in there just the other day. And I went, well, I don't know, but the picture's dim. He says, it can't be. It's got to be fine. 
I said, get your manager up here. The manager, I took him first to, was playing in two theaters at the well, same been, time. No, not, but not that a little same off, time. A yeah. little off of yeah. each other. So I, uh, I, I say, come look at the first the the color. This, this theater where it, because I went over and looked and it was fine. Right. I said, see how bright the picture is? He says, yeah, I see how bright. Okay, now let me take you over into the other theater. And he says, uh, oh, you're right. And I said, yeah. I said, so what are you going to do about it? He said, well, the movie's already started. I can't do anything about it. And I'm thinking, you know what you could do? You could get up in front of everybody and say, we apologize to you for the projection of this film. We know you paid X, a, a, X number of dollars to see this thing. In and you deserve, a good, you deserve a good projection. And hold on a moment while we turn it off or brighten up the bulb or do whatever has to be done. And I'm sure everybody would appreciate that. But um, uh, people had their glasses on. Huh? Everybody had their glasses on. Everybody had their glasses on. And you said some people applaud. And at the end of the film, everybody applauds. And I'm going, I didn't see anything. You know, because when you put on the, it's even worse when you put on the glasses because the 3D glasses cut down on the brightness of the screen. So it was even worse in, in, in the 3D. Then a couple of months earlier, we had gone to see that uh, Creatures film about the guy who got the creatures in the suitcase. And oh, stuff right, like that. right. The heavenly cu- Creatures or yeah. The Search for Heavenly y- y- yeah, Something yeah. like that. Uh, that was a good which, movie. Which, by the way, when we finally saw it, was good. But we went to see it, and we paid for 3D, which is an extra, like, $5, right, right. a piece. Easily. All right? Uh, and we're, we're sitting there, and I'm going... This film isn't in 3D. And I take the glasses off, and I can tell when it's not in 3D because there isn't that double image. Right. And top of that, the, the screen, the picture on the screen was smaller. So I went down to the, the manager Once on that again. one. And he comes up and he goes, oh, yeah, it's not in 3D. Oh, whoop de doo it's not in fucking 3D. Why don't you stop it, start it again Properly. in 3D? Right? But you know what happens is, I, I don't think there's even any projectionist in the booth anymore. There isn't. It's just like a computer that says, okay, this theater start playing the film, and for some reason it just started playing the 2D version rather than the 3D version. So they gave us the money back. Only because we complained. Nobody and we, else did. And we and nobody else complained. Everybody else was still sitting in the theater. By with the way, glasses. with their glasses on. <laughs> Now, I'm, I'm not really an asshole here, folks. I'm not playing the old guy on this deal. What yes, happens is. is, what? no, I'm not. Yes, he is. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I, ever since I was a kid, I was a big fan of 3D. When the first 3D movies came out years and years and years ago, you know how I try to collect them, you know, because I, 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 I just remember how much I like, what are you What are you giving it that playing the little fiddle thing? I'm playing some music for your speech. Well, no, what I'm saying is I love 3D, and so I know all about the technology. And when I go to a 3D movie, I don't... Do you want to sit there and not see it in 3D? <laughs> no. Do you want to sit there and not see it? I only go because it gives, it gives us something to do together. But I got a copy of uh, Black Panther, so now we can see it. Right. Not in 3D, but at least see it. <laughs> right. No, really, I'm serious. It was so dark. you could I couldn't tell who was black they and who was white. They don't make 3D to sell anymore, do no, they? No, they don't make uh, 3D TV sets But they anymore. don't make 3D. So, so therefore, they're not releasing a lot of these films in uh, 3D. So shame. where you get them in 3D is you... Get them illegally. N- well, there's that way, which <laughs> who would do such a horrible, horrible know. thing? Listen, I paid to see Black Panther, right? And I never saw it. They owe me, okay. But what I'm saying is, in Europe, they're still doing 3D on uh, DVDs, oh, on Blu-rays, okay. So uh, you can sometimes in Amazon order from Europe and get them here. And bring can them you here. see it here? Is it a different configuration? It, it, sometimes it's a different configuration, but there are. Um, what do you call it? The uh, Blu-ray players that, uh-huh. that are all region Blu-ray players, and you can play them. Oh. But in any event, uh, first of all, I got Frozen from Europe in 3D. Disney decided not to release Frozen in 3D here uh, for home consumption until Christmas. Ah. So uh, I they had it in uh, Europe. Uh, they had it in Europe. What six months earlier? 
in 3D, so I ordered it in 3D. And it was able to play here. Yeah, so it was able to play here. But the point is, is that, that uh, the, here in the United States, they decided to stop making 3D TV sets. Why, I have no idea, because they could do them and not really appreciably add to the cost of the, of the TV set. I agree. Uh, the version we like best is the LG version, which is called, uh, there's, there's passive and active. Active are the uh, glasses you have that have shutters in them going like crazy. And passive is like in the movies. You can take those same glasses home. We always do. We do. And use them for 3D movies in the house. We have a big collection. Yes. We have, have, actually, we have more 3D glasses than we have 3D films, <laughs> actually, if we think about it. But anyway, so I, um, so we, um, where was I? Oh, so. so it's 1016. Uh, now you threw me off. 3D glasses. Oh, we have more 3D glasses than yeah, we have yeah. 3D so anyway, movies. So th those 3D glasses you can use with the, this passive version, and the passive version doesn't really cost them that much money. It's like a, a chip in the in the TV set. That's it's, terrible. It's, it's a, a something on the screen. I think they should just do know. it as a matter of fact. Yeah, and uh, you know people do go to see 3D films. They do pay extra to go see them. Every time we go to see a 3D film, the place is packed. So I, the reason why 3D in America uh, for home consumption died was because they didn't make it affordable to people. In other words, it should have been the same price as any other. It should have just been an add-on to the yeah, TV set. Yeah, and by set. the way, you've got 3D. You know, um, it's not that, if, you know, because I think that a lot, a lot of people would enjoy watching Can you play it on a, on a Sony... Um Game. What's that thing we have? The well, yeah, that that the the uh, uh, Sony uh, PlayStation is capable of playing 3D oh. discs. Yeah. Oh yeah. They 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 have since the, almost the very beginning wow. of of the PlayStation. That's why I originally got the PlayStation was because they would play 3D discs. Uh huh. But anyway, so the point is that they really should. I mean, it, you know. Uh, so less and less films that are in 3D in the theaters are coming out for 3D in the home. Oh, poor like Bla Black Panther is, hasn't been released in 3D. No. And it really wasn't released in 3D where we saw it either, That's folks. That's true. But it just makes me mad when the theater doesn't give a shit about their projection. Yeah. You know, especially because if I was paying five bucks like the old days to go see a movie, okay, so it's shitty projection. But no. We're paying, a t you're paying a lot of money. And we're talking about two senior tickets. If you're not a senior, it's been, what, another three or four dollars? Oh, more than that. You know, so if you go in, you should be given the best possible exhibition that's available. And uh, when they don't do that, you know. People get angry. Yeah, I, I get angry. I, and so don't, it's not being an old guy on my part. It's that I love 3D. Hard old guy. If I didn't love 3D, we'd go see these pictures in 2D. Now, uh, 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 Deadpool, the first picture and this one, oddly enough, neither of them in 3D. They decided not to make them in 3D or not to convert them to 3D because a lot of these films aren't really 3D. They're you know, converted. Converted. If you want to see some, if, you, if you're able to play 3D at home and you have a 3D TV set, there are several, like, 50s, era movies like House of Wax, Miss Sadie Thompson, and The Maze, and a few of those films that have been, uh, oh, a Dial in for Murder, Hitchcock's for murder. film, which was never released in 3D, 3D. Uh, that are available. And when you watch that 3D, you're watching, see what you're watching now is they, they go, they send it it's through a, a modified. computer, it's a they modified. send it through a computer and it's synthetic 3D, it's not real 3D. But these are stereoptic films. They were shot with two cameras, two rolls of film, you know, uh, approximating the difference between the two eyes. And uh, they look just spectacular. Look just spectacular. I have Kiss Me Kate in 3D, <laughs> and it looks terrific. It's 1020. Why do you keep doing that? Because I'm ready to roll over. That's what she said. No, don't even come close yet. It's not even, 
Not even time yet. Romeo. Romeo. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so anyway, I got to do a few things here. I'm tired. What you You're tired? What are you tired from? I had to go down to Union Square and do some errands, and it just was a lot of work. What, what were the errands? I had to go pick up shoes and see the dressmaker and just. When my, when are my pants coming back? What pants? No. Oh, the jeans. The jeans. Oh, I haven't picked up anything in a while. Oh, you haven't gone. You didn't go there. I did go there, but I didn't pick up anything. I just left stuff. Well, well it's, by by the time uh, you get my pants back, the ones I almost lost my wallet with because you sent away for jeans were pre-stressed. I didn't send away. We went in the store and got. No, those. we didn't. No, we that didn't. that you mailed away for. Oh, well. You know, uh, and they became pre-stressed, and I went, oh, okay, well, you know, it's not bad. But I figure when they're pre-stressed, they've they've stressed them, but they've they've made sure they won't fall apart. And here, the hole in the back pocket got bigger and bigger. And one day, there's a guy knocking on my door saying, "Did you drop this on the sidewalk?" That was nice. That was really nice. I was going to think. Was it sidewalk outside or in the outside. court? Outside. Wow. Outside. And he just opened it up, and he saw the name in it and the address, and he uh, came up and gave it to me. I went. Uh, and I suddenly realized I didn't have my wallet, and I went to the door mm -hmm. to just get back there. <laughs> it's not time yet. Uh, and oh, uh, I didn't have a chance to really thank him. He just dashed down the stairs. So, What? Nothing. What, what, what are you telling the audience? Telling well, you can You can share it with the rest of us. What were you no, trying nothing, to say? Nothing, nothing, It's my little secret. What were you trying to nothing. say? Well, anyway. Just between us. So I kept this big secret from her for Which three secret? days. Which one? The big. Oh, that secret. Oh. And I was going to tell you tonight, uh, uh, reveal it to you on the air, but today she decided not to go to work. No, I have to go to work tomorrow. I know. No, but that's, so that's I had errands to do, and I had to switch everything around. So, yeah. So anyway. You know, what my boss said he said, "Can't can't you do the do that at night?" I said, "No." I'm in the office at six in the morning. I'm not going to wait another six hours at night for those carpets to be clean. Oh, you were going to do it? With the, why can't you? Well, do that's it at what night? he said. Why don't you do it at night? Uh, uh. <laughs> you want to stay here? <laughs> so was he complaining about you taking the day off? Yeah. Was he really? Yeah. He said, "Can it be done at night?" I said, "No." <laughs> oh, so you now they're starting to complain about you taking? Oh, the day he off? made a comment. He said, "Oh, okay, I didn't understand." I said, yeah, it's, I'm the only one that has to be there. Yeah, yeah. Our carpets are getting clean tomorrow, and it's like a five, six-hour production. I have to be there. But they're not mad at you because you're taking took the day off. No, but I have to be there tomorrow. Okay, so but anyway, the point anyway. was that she, you know, I, I started uh, going to the gym this week. Yeah. I started on Tuesday. Well, actually, Monday, I actually just went in and looked at the place. <laughs> Well, I had never really been past the front desk. <laughs> and I belonged to it for, what, four years or something? And uh, uh, I, I decided that I uh, probably uh, should look around. And I looked around, and then I figured, ah, the next day I, got, I had to go pick up my drugs. So where we get our drugs is right next to the, the, gym. To the gym, which is great. You know, if you hurt yourself, you go next door and you get some medicine. Some, some medicine. Anyway... Um, but I, uh, 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 so I, I decided to go in and spend Check a day. Check it out. And I did what I, what I knew how to do best in the beginning, and that's the cycle of the, what do you call it? Tread, not, not the treadmill, the cycle. cycle. And um, uh, so I did 15 minutes on that, and, you know, I was very proud of myself. And then I did a couple of the... I got on the things for my legs that they told me to do for like the torn meniscus, so I just found the equivalent of what I would do at home in the machines, right? How about core and arms? Well, I ha I'm I'm going to get to that okay. eventually. Well, I know how to well, do well, I know well. how to do all of those, but okay, I'm just quite, asking. Quite frankly, I don't care whether I look buffed or not at my age. Anyway, so then I uh, the next day I think I did. Uh, I did, uh, oh, maybe another 15, maybe 20 minutes, and the next day I did another 20 minutes, and then today, then today I wanted to go in. So I said, I'm going out there. I didn't want to tell her, 
what I was doing. I was going to tell her here on the air and then have her be surprised, uh -huh. right? And she says, where are you going? Like I'm cheating on her or something. I didn't think you're where, cheating. Where are you going? I said, I, I don't want to say. She says, tell me. And then you were getting kind of mad because I wasn't telling you where I was going. You were being arrogant the way you usually are, and it's 1025. I wasn't being... I wasn't being... <laughs> I wasn't being arrogant. You're being nasty no, as I normal. I wasn't being nasty. I just said, I have to go out. I have some stuff I have to do. Not in, in that tone. You know, and, and I kind of In hit, your grouchy tone. I hid the towel under my jacket. I saw the that. towel. Oh, that's a big key man thing. <laughs> go with the towel around the neck. <laughs> I'm working anyway, out. I, I'm putting the towel. I around. finally said I have something to uh, tell you, and now she's thinking maybe I'm going to tell her I'm cheating on her. Uh, but no, I I said I I, I admit I, I for the last three days I've been going to the gym, and I'm very I'm very supportive. I think it's great. Yeah. So you know, but I mean, I, I, I like the towel around the neck. <laughs> Well, I got to take a towel with me. <laughs> they don't have towels there. No. Oh, it's bring your own. I had to buy that one there. It's bring your own. I had to buy that one there. <laughs> it's bring your own towel. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, it's fifteen dollars a month for that gym. You, you, what do you expect? Miracles? <laughs> you know. So I had to buy a towel there. So I, I, I bring that towel with me because it's. it's and it looks good around the no, neck. No. <laughs> because it is. The proper thing to do when you are using a machine to, when you're through, wipe it down. But they don't have an insecticide little pads and Well, stuff. they go around and do that themselves. But they don't have it for you? No. Oh, we got these little towelettes that you pull out. Well, you go, how much does it cost you a year for your gym? More than $15 how a much, month. How much? Tell them. Know. What, $2,000, $2,500 you know, a year? Don't talk money. It's you're really low class. Hey, that's wonderful, folks. She's paying... Twenty five hundred dollars. I'm not paying twenty five hundred. Two thousand a year. Ah, you see, it's got to be two thousand a year. Two thousand a year to go to a gym where she gets free towels. Oh, and insecticide or whatever. And I can is. go to all the gyms in New York or wherever, and they have. I imagine I can go. To, and, I, I can go to any blink in the city. How many blinks are in the city? I think uh, every time I see one, I blink, so I don't know. So you don't know. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I want to show you my T-shirt. Look at my T-shirt. You should wear that when you talk. Oh to wait a minute. Let me. Bugs. Let me. Let me. Uh, let me. Uh, well, it's ten twenty-seven. No, no, I'm not. Gonna Why don't you show them when I go to bed? No, here. I'm look, going to bed. Look at that. Bub says, "Park it, whore." <laughs> this T-shirt goes back. Uh, Damien sent it to me. It's from my. My uh, uh, stuff that's in storage, and uh, that's still in storage. I, I don't know if Bob made these up or whether um, the radio station made it up. I think if the radio station made it up, it'd have their logo on it. But that was his saying when he was doing the traffic reports: "Park it, whore." <laughs> park it, whore. And when somebody was stalled on the highway, go park it, whore. <laughs> I'm on my okay, it's time stuff. to roll. No, over. it's not. You got two minutes. Well, it's going to take two me minutes, two minutes you know, to get two over. Two minutes. Before. <laughs> oh God! Oh, here, 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 here we go. <laughs> what? I showered today. I've been showering every day now. Well, now that you're going, we to go the to the gym. gym, and then I come back. I'm all sweaty, and I have to. Oh, you shower before you go to the no, gym? No, I don't shower before I go to the gym. I shower after I get back from the you gym. You got the towel around your neck, and Rocky. Well, I need to take the towel with me because otherwise I'd have to buy another $5 towel. <laughs> and for a $15 gym, I don't want to up the ante too much, you know. Do you have to pay for Kleenex and stuff like that? I don't know. You know, I haven't asked any of those questions because the people there don't really care. They <laughs> just, you give them your thing and they scan it and then you go in and do whatever you're going to do. But they really don't give a shit about very much else. Like, uh, oh, well, here are some, you know, it, it wipes to wipe the thing with. Yeah, I saw some people with some things wiping them. So uh, maybe I should have to buy those. Too, maybe. You know. <laughs> uh, but uh, anyway, but, it, it, you know, it's a fine, it has all the amenities that a gym should have and all the workout things and so on. And, you know, it's not like yours. Yours is what? Yours is like. Fancy. Fancy schmancy. Mm. Mm. 
Okay, you can come over now. Here she, here she comes, ladies. Ow, 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 ow! You just you, what? You Let's just turn uh, this. My, 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 my. Uh, it's my foot was rolled over by your. See, because you're. Ah. Uh, yeah. There you go. Anyway. Call in. Huh? Yeah. Call in. Yeah. Call in. Wait a minute. I got to turn the thing on. Wait a minute. Let me get rid of these guys here for a second. I just got to do some cleaning up, housekeeping, as it were. Okay, now let's turn it on. And, of course, some more names will come up. So I got to get rid of those. Here we go. So our lines are open now if you want to call the uh, the ramble. Who's going to be first? Huh? Who's going to be the first call? Uh, Is it a feel-free night? No. Ah, no. feel-free It was feel-free two nights this week. Uh Tonight is a full of fill. Full night. of fill free. Full of fill night. Anyway, so um, uh, 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 everybody can start calling. I'd say the first one to call. Jeff Stein. You know, it might be Phil. It might be Phil. It, it used to be Scott Boddicker, but he doesn't call all the time. He now. calls when his wife left him. No, no, no. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's, that's, that's another guy. Oh, who? Um, what's his name? Uh, don't, that one don't, yeah, with the don't, kid, with don't, the cats. Don't, don't ask an old guy to tell you somebody's <laughs> name. Uh, Did you see my shirt? What? What does your shirt say? The, these are my tits. What? No, is, I can't uh, get Citizens me. United. And Citizens United. And Citizens United. Oh, you see, I told you. Be, I told you, I'd be Phil. Yeah. Is that him in between the legs? I don't know if it's Phil uh, between the legs there in that f picture or whatever. Hello, Phil. Um, How are hey, you? Hi, hey. Phil. Oh, that was a bum on oh. Market Street. Wait a minute. Here comes Scott Boddicker. He almost beat you as the first person on. Hey, Scott. Wait a minute. Here comes uh, here comes Scott Boddicker. Boddicker. Hello, Boddicker. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Wait a minute. We still have a blank screen on you. That's because I'm outside. It's dark. Oh, really? <laughs> Very dark. Is there any way we can see something to prove you're actually outside, like a, a, a like a door, a light, or something? Like there we go. Oh, wow. oh okay. Stars? Huh? That's not stars. What, what are those? <laughs> Outdoor that's lights. The, that's the church next door. Oh, it's the church next door. I see. Okay, and and what? Uh, what are you pointing at there? I guess that looks like some kind of lamp. Well, I think it's the uh, the the street light in the church parking lot. Ah. Yeah, this is how exciting it gets on our program, folks, when people go outside in the dark, you know. Well, it's too cold in the house, so I had to come out cold? and warm up. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, it was too cold in the house? Why? You got your air conditioning on already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all bitching about it being too hot and that's how hot is it how hot is it how hot has it been in uh texas texas uh it got up to 95 today wow it's cold here 95 in texas today in in plano yeah in plano i think not, yeah is it plano or plano plano oh okay. plano okay it looks like plano but yeah, it's plano plano but, you have uh, a flashlight i uh you know, I used to have one of those uh, USB lights that you could shine on your keyboard type of thing, but I can't find it. I was looking for it. You I have an iPhone? A... Well, you're looking really... There's a light on the iPhone. You're looking very black. Uh, <laughs> looking uh, you know, uh, based on that... No, maybe... wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Yeah. Are you using... You're using a laptop, right? Yeah. Okay. And the laptop is putting out with a picture. Am I correct? Yeah. Then how I come... How come it is not lighting up your face a little bit? There, there is that. Ah, there, there we are. go. See? Hey. See? Well, the intensity down because now you're blinded. You're, Phil's as white as a ghost. <laughs> no, Phil is white as a ghost. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, no, it's, it's all right. You know what I look like. It's, it, yeah. Look yeah. Uh, but uh, that that way, you see, we could see because the light from the every now and then, like I'll be watching Patrick on the show, and his face will suddenly change color a little bit because something went on on his screen, <laughs> uh, and that's the one thing. Ah, there you go. There oh, you th go. There you the go. Phone. Yeah. 
That'll drain the battery quick, won't it? Yep. Now, what is that? What is that you're sitting on? A deck chair of some sort? Oh, yeah, just a, just a, yeah, just a, just a chair by the pool. Yeah. Chair by the. Oh, you have a pool? Yeah. Oh, really? Well, guess who's coming to visit you? Make sure you bring the old lady. Yeah, I'll bring the old lady. <laughs> And know. believe me, when I say my old lady, I mean old. Oh. <laughs> Isn't he terrible? So how are you yeah. tonight, Phil? Hey, I'm, I'm, uh, fuck me, fuck you. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm doing just fine. See, I we, just want to make you feel at home in New York, you know? No, no, it, it doesn't make me feel at home in New York because people don't go fuck me, fuck you anymore in New York. That's yes, the I problem that, with New but York. That's what you. that's what you wanted. He misses that. that that's what you miss. I miss, you yeah, fuck me, fuck you, right? That's right. <laughs> so, I gave you. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, uh, it just, uh, you know, rude, rude uh, taxi drivers. You know, well, they don't speak English anymore, so how can they be rude? Uh, uh, they never did speak English, Phil. Uh, there, when I first came here, there were there were two types. There were either the foreigners driving cabs or really old Jews. Yeah, I had an uncle that was a cab driver. He owned a medallion. Yeah, and that was a big thing, I guess, back in the late fifties, early sixties. A well, lot of foreigners have learned to speak Talk English. To the microphone. Uh, well, because you have it next to you. No, I don't. Yes, it's but it's equidistant I, between us. Because I moved it. Must we argue? Here yeah, we go again. Can your, this your marriage bare, be saved? <laughs> what? I doubt it. Their feet is pushing her away, yeah. but uh, I noticed, you know, the Gabnet uniform. I didn't do anything tonight. Yeah. But Ah. 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 Well, mine are clean. So are mine. <laughs> so are mine. Alex yes. took a shower today. No, I take a shower every day now. Now, three days. Take three days in a row because I think. Are work? you using the same towel you bought for five dollars to take the no, shower? That, that he wraps around his neck because it looks cool. No, for I. I it's I'm, rocky. I, it's Rocky. Where do I? Wait, wait, can I ask you a little question? Where, when I'm walking down the street, can I put that towel while I'm walking down the in street? In a gym bag. Right. No, well, I don't need a gym bag because the gym is only a block and a half away. So, An exhausting so block. put it over your arms. It's, it's <laughs> one of the accoutrements that you must have to belong to a gym. Exactly. But right. I don't want a gym bag because then he I likes. To... He thinks it's cool wearing it around his neck. I'm... Yeah, like twisted. Yeah. I just yeah. want to go to the gym, rolled. do my little circuit, and then leave. I, mean, I want to yeah. get in and out in a half hour. That's really what I yeah. want to do. Well, what color is your towel? Is it uh, red or blue? It's white. Great. It's white. Do you wear it on your in your on your back pocket? Or no, he twists it and wears it around his neck. I, I, that's that cool. MS I just put it around my neck. So big so fucking So he looks like deal. Rocky. Okay, is that an MS-13 position? Uh, <laughs> the is, is a killer or uh, somebody that is a bottom or a top? <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> I really hate him. God damn it. Uh, yeah. No, so I, you know, I mean, I, so, I, so everybody's giving me a bad time now for no one's working giving out. You a bad time. Everybody we should think, say good we for think you, it's Alex. Cute. We think it's cute. What, what were you saying, Scott? Just keep working out. Don't listen to them. You're, yeah. You look fine. Well, you know something. I got to tell you though, I, I don't exactly like working out, but I feel better for it, not because yeah. of it, but for it. Okay. Yes. Uh, I think that working out, uh, like getting on a bike and pedaling for 25 minutes and having the bike go absolutely nowhere is completely stupid, stupid and useless. Okay? Yes. But supposedly, it's good that for you. you. Well, I get my heart rate up, you know. I, I, I get it. So I'm trying to see if I can have a stroke as well how fast I'm trying to go. Turn but the it, resistance up. Yeah, but uh, masturbation does that too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's why I have a very good uh, uh, muscle here. Right arm uh, is very strong. My right arm is very strong. But you know, I say to her, I so I get, I get, I'm getting on the, uh, the, the, the 
the uh, bicycle and I'm doing a few things for my legs. So why aren't you doing something for your upper body? Now just stop, you know, I'm going, you, that's something. Like the, you like the bicycle and to tell you the truth, I think it's gonna uh, create havoc with your torn meniscus. But there's a thing called an elliptical and yeah, that like gives that. you a little bit of upper body and doesn't put the pressure on your legs. Well, I, am, I have not had a single pain from the torn meniscus by using the bike. Yet, I, in fact, yet, uh, yet, yet. Uh, if it's time. No, no. I agree. No, I, I know wh what it feels like and, and what sense it, and it's, it's not having a problem. By the way, if folks had just tuned in, that black square is actually Scott. He's got his camera on. <laughs> but he's outside. But he's outside. There he is. See, See the there church? Yeah. Once you go black, you never go back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so, uh, so I mean, rather than say, oh, Alex, you I know. I did. I said, I'm very supportive. I think it was great that you did. Yeah. That I did? That like it's went. a past thing? I've done it for four days. I went to the gym more this week than you did. No, you didn't. Did you go four days yes. this week? When? What were the four days you went? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Friday. Okay, so we, I went to the gym as much as you do. Yeah, but I stay longer and I do more. So there. Well, it's a big deal. <laughs> it's not you know. a competition. It's True. not a competition. And with that, I'm going to say good night. Good night. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Wave, Scott. I am. Can't you see? <laughs> I can see the blue line. I wonder if I can go to my gym in, at like three in the morning. If like when I get off here, if I can, gym? if I can go to the gym. Is it a twenty-four hour? I don't. Gym? I have no idea. What I, do you? Uh, so at three in the morning in Harlem, what is it? The mugging exercise? That, yes. Uh, yes. Do you know? Do you know? It's strange, but outside of coming back from something, yeah. You know, uh, once in a great while, I don't think I've been outside at night here. In the whole time I've lived here, I mean, I actually said, "Ah, it's you know, the show's over. I think I'll go take a walk." Yeah, right? is it that kind of neighborhood? What? Well, do you feel comfortable uh, at, at three in the morning? Uh, it, well, it used to be dangerous, but it's yeah. supposedly not dangerous anymore. And you're willing to find out? No, <laughs> the hard way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Hey, white, give me your money. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't. I I don't think it's dangerous anymore. But I don't want to find out. Yeah. Plus, yeah. I also have people that scream and yell in the middle of the night out out on the corner, and I don't want to get to know them. <laughs> They're on your panel, huh? <laughs> They're on the citizens' panel. I mean, they scream and they're yelling and everything. I'm about, I'm about ready to go. Maybe they're on Amy and Irv's show. Will you shut the <laughs> fuck up? You know. Uh, I'll tell you what I did do once I had this uh, uh, when I was on uh, Houston Street uh, yeah. there was this club below us and sometimes people would leave the club and just stand out in front of the club or in front of our building and uh, start yelling and screaming at 3 o'clock in the morning to each other alright hey, hey Alex Yeah. can you piss out the window well, and make well, it rain well, on them well wait a minute so what I did one night <laughs> is I got a big filled up this big bucket full of water and I just uh, opened the window and unloaded it and it was funny it was really funny because I threw the water out and there is of course there's such a thing as gravity and the amount of time it takes for the water to go down and it doesn't go down in one big glump it then separates and becomes kind of uh, more rain-like and yeah. I just threw the thing out the window, and I you could have counted to like five. One, two, three, four, five. And, oh, shit! What was that? <laughs> now, that Houston Street place, is that... Did, were you living there when you were working for uh, WPLJ? No. No, no, oh. no. This was... Uh, no, if I lived there when I worked at WPLJ, I'd be dead by now. Uh, uh, because WPLJ... When you worked for WPLJ, I went back to your apartment with you. That was, and I remember yeah. that being like on the second floor. No, it was, uh, on, it was, it was, on, it was actually on the maybe the third. sixth floor of uh, a bill, uh, on 14th Street. Yeah, and yeah. there was no store below it, I, at no, least that I don't know. No, I don't, no, I, don't, no I, I was in the back, as a matter of fact. So. You were on the street. Mm -hmm. uh, I faced the street on the back, which I oh. faced 15th Street. Yeah. All right. Yeah, cause I, cause I remember that apartment, but uh, well, I didn't well, remember. Well, what happened was, you know, the story of that apartment. 
moved, yeah, it moved became, down. Uh, uh, Bernie Getz's Bernie apartment. Bernie Getz moved in, yeah. And uh, then he went out and he shot a bunch of guys in the subway. And I'm watching TV and it says, uh, and here is where Bernie Getz lived. And I went, wow, that's my old apartment house. And yeah. then I called a friend, and they said, I said, uh, you know what happened at my old apartment house? And they went, yeah, um, uh, it's all here in the newspaper. And I said, yeah, uh, I don't know where he lived in the apartment house. And then the person said, well, uh, he lived on the sixth floor. <laughs> and it turns out he had moved into my apartment. And my feel, and I always felt guilty because if I hadn't moved out of that apartment, that kid who is now in a wheelchair to this very day might be walking. He'd be selling screwdrivers. And you know, uh, the yeah. interesting thing is, you live in an apartment that Bernie Getz moves into. You yeah. live in an apartment now that was used to make crack during a movie. During in uh, it's in uh, in New Jack City. It's the crack, crack house. Yeah, they point to it on a map of the apartment house. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So you know, it's it's uh, it's strange that you seem to be attracted to these kinds of homes. Now wait a minute. Now wait, wait a minute. Is 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 Mr. Nunn? Are you are you trying to give us? A, <laughs> is, is this going to be the lights out show tonight? Yeah. Well, make make your screen only show half your face. Dude. Wait a minute. Why did you just go to your picture there? Uh, I turned the camera off to give you my bum on the street. No, just go back. We don't want to have to see the bum on the street. <laughs> you, right. you, should, you should turn your camera a little brighter there, uh, Vernon. Uh, because, uh, yeah, oh, there, uh, there, yeah, there we go. And now yeah. you got some brightness. Now we can see you, and you look great. I got know. a dimmer. I got a dimmer on the lights in here. Oh, do you really? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I have a dimmer. Well, I don't have a dimmer. If I don't pay the electric bill, uh, the lights get dim. The lights get dim. Yeah. Um, but I've got uh, I've got the uniform on too. Oh, oh you've got them too, huh? This is the official. Uh, this is the official Gabnet pants. Yeah. Are you wearing shoes though? That's that's. No, the I'm key. not wearing shoes tonight. Neither am I. Oh, but Vernon is. He's high class. <laughs> now you know. Normally, I just wear socks, but I I haven't been doing that lately. So, yeah. excuse me, folks. I'm partially naked. <laughs> if that's the case, actually, the bottom yeah. of my feet are they dirty now? Like, they, no, yeah. No. Oh my. I, what? They're not dirty. I took, yeah. I, I, I you can use them that towel you had from the gym to clean them. I shower. <laughs> you all stop it. <laughs> I mean, come on. I'm fucking going to the gym. Do you know what a monumental thing that is for me? Are they, what, do they have free coffee? Hmm? Do they have free coffee there? Oh, I don't think so. They, huh? they, no, they don't have free coffee. you got to bring your own towel. They ain't going to have coffee. Look, look, this is a gym, $15 a month. And how these gyms make money is they figure at that price... Everybody joins like crazy, and then nobody ever goes. Well, have you done the math? Fifteen dollars a month for four years, and you've used it four times. So how how uh, what kind of value is that? Well, that would come down to a little over one hundred and twenty-five dollars a visit. Right. <laughs> All right. So who's going into the expensive gym, you or Marjorie? Yeah. Well, I mean, if, if I go all the time, if I were to go. Let's say I went ten times a month. That's a buck fifty a visit. You know, that's not bad. So they, of course, they're going to charge you for towels. Of course, they're going to, you know, uh, there are no amenities for fifteen dollars for crying out loud. Hey, when somebody goes to answer their cell phone, you grab their towel. It's very simple. Yeah, but right. Yeah, you grab the towel and just yeah, right. Boy, a lot of people watching us tonight. It's cool. Yeah, it's because nobody has their cameras on. <laughs> yeah, it's the it's the dark show, but we yeah. only have three callers, so other people should start calling, so I can. Uh, so I, can I know to how you. to make a call. How's that? Okay, the shooter today. Oh, geez. used a oh, shotgun geez. and a and a, and a revolver. Uh -huh. He he didn't have an assault weapon. What what you know? But he also had other bombs and things that either went off when he didn't intend them to. Uh, or didn't explode. They didn't explode. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, one of them went off, though, somewhere, and that's why he decided to go and do what he did today, because it, I guess early this morning, one, uh, one of them exploded. You know, and, I'm not following the story that closely, and the reason I'm not following that it that closely is because no matter w what happens, nobody ever does anything about this exactly. shit. But it was and, the subject of the Alex Bennett fake news today, so I well, just figured... No, well, I mentioned it because if I did my little fake news today, my little uh, news break, and I didn't mm -hmm. mention it, and it was one of those stories, by the way, I had to go back and record that a se that whole uh, show a second time because oh, the, was, the death exactly. count had changed. And then I said eight or ten, possibly yeah, right. ten, because the story kept changing, you know. Yeah, and so and I also had to add... And a, uh, a, a, a another person of uh, of interest, yeah. as it were. So I mean, uh, the story kept changing that much that I had to keep doing that. And this and, is another case of someone not protecting their weapons and them falling into the hands oh, of somebody that they yeah. should. Yeah, right. And right. if the right. I think if the father Go. was held culpable yeah. uh, for not storing his guns properly uh -huh. so that they couldn't be. Uh, yeah. Come, yeah. You know, yeah. Taken. yeah, those same uh, ten, 10 people will st would still be dead. Not necessarily, uh, <laughs> unless the bomb went off. Oh, boy. You know, uh, there was no um, uh, no automatic weapons. Look, no semi look Phil, Phil, there is some kind of endemic sickness in this country where this kind of thing happens because we go to other countries and we don't see it happening in quite the same uh, amount of instances do you do you know how many high school shootings have happened so far this year and this is only may how many do you figure two. huh 22 is it 22 i heard 16 is it 22 22 wow 22 and school there have been shootings. over 200 deaths uh-huh so uh, what does that say phil it says that they're just as good with a revolver and a shotgun as they are with a semi-automatic uh, AK-47. or. A M there have been more deaths in school shootings thus far this year than there have been military people dying in now, combat. There's just as many guns as there was 20, 25 years ago, when I, or 30, 40, 50 years ago when I was in school, and nobody shot the place up. You know, what do you think is must be the drugs? It must be the drugs are taken, isn't it, Phil? It's probably yeah, the drugs are taken. Off. And brainwashing yeah. from MS 13. Yeah. yeah. Matter of fact, yeah, they're probably being in, uh, inducted uh, into MS 13. You know, they're animals. I just figured something I could do here that I haven't done. This is a, this is a good joke for me to pull off. Where, 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 where Scott is and you can't see Scott, I can yeah. just fill it up. With, you. with me, you yeah. <laughs> see, uh, you guys don't see it that way, but no, uh, that, that's, that's the way it is here. So uh, I just thought I would do that for fun, you know. Yeah. See, we talked. I just made Scott's picture fill yeah. my whole screen, and now I got a big black a big black screen up there with the rest <laughs> of you guys at the bottom. Oh really? Oh, <laughs> oh good. There's a light. Yeah. So. Nice. I like it. Yeah. Now, if, now if one more person calls, I have to shift my thing. But right now, I, I'm filling up his black space. I shift my thing on a regular basis. You shift Absolutely. your thing? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, I hear it doesn't shift like it used to. Uh, <laughs> well, it doesn't. It, it leaks, but it doesn't sputter. <laughs> uh, I see. Anyway, so more people call up so I can... Uh, Last night, we didn't have a lot of people to begin the show. By the end of the show, we had almost we were one, one short of a full house, yeah. I think. Yeah. 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 But uh, anyway, and, and we had a lot of people watching, but a bunch of them left because you started talking about how wonderful guns were. Um, I say they were wonderful, but no, as, long uh, as, gonna, as long as you're going to say that, I'll agree with you. Yeah, but how, you know, my, my question is, what is wrong with this country? You know, why is it we have this problem? A uh, place like Canada per capita has the same amount of guns as we do and, mm -hmm. and virtually no deaths. Because we're the entitled ones. You know, uh, people uh, feel that uh, they're, they're owed a living. When you, what, what you've had Canada doesn't have Fox News. Mm -hmm. They've got you, some. You, you've, they've had, got you've had kids, Phil. 
And when yeah. they had some kind of toy and they mm. misused it, what did you do? I left the house because if I try to do anything, they all ganged up uh, on no, me. No, 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 no. What did you do as a, as a good father when your child, for instance, has something that you gave him? Like, let's say, a knife and he is using it in the wrong way in some way might hurt himself or whatever. I, what, honestly, do do? what do you I've do? I've never had to do that kind of discipline. The only issues I ever had was You're slamming. You're avoiding the question, no, Phil. No, no. I only had one issue, which was slamming the doors. My kids used to slam the doors. And the, the other kids could be in the middle of the door and, and get slammed on. And so one time I said, look, if you're going to slam the door, I'm yeah. going to take the door off the hinges. And so you slam it one more time, you lose the door for a day. Yeah. This is their bedroom door. Uh, you slam it. If I put it back on, you slam it again, you're going to lose it for a week. And uh, so one of them tested. Uh, yeah, yeah, and it's a very boring story that is not answering my question. Well, I never had to discipline them for those other kinds of things. Uh, I see. Okay. You know, they were good Somehow kids. Somehow if people so don't, if, if kids don't <clears throat> play with their things right, you take them away. And I think that Americans don't play with their guns correctly, and so they should be taken away. Well, you know... Uh, Here we go. For a Second I, I, Amendment, I, I, blah, blah, blah. I didn't, let them, I didn't let them date until they were 27, so, you know... <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, Jeff. I once had a gun. Yeah? When I was a kid. Mm-hmm. It's called a zip gun. A zip gun? Yeah. We got that from prison. No, I got that. In, well, I don't know where I got. It. But uh, zip gu zip guns were guns that were used to. Well, they were kind of s small, weren't they? I mean, they were. They yeah. Were, yeah. They, they were, were taken from they the were antenna. Yeah. Of a car. Really. Yeah, you take that piece of tube. You you saw it to the right side that you want it mm -hmm. for that long and then you attach it to a little piece of wood or something and yeah. maybe a couple of rubber bands to yeah. put it together and then you can put a 22 in it which finger did you lose none you never fired well, once yeah and i said this is a good way to kill either myself or somebody right. else yeah. So I gave it to somebody else. And I says, you can keep it. And now it's been used in several robberies uh, in Queens? Uh, I think the thing got uh, thrown in the garbage somewhere, somehow. Yeah. But, you know, uh, you get to the point where you go, holy shit, these things are, are not just dangerous, but you can, you can kill somebody with it. And you say, I don't need to play with these things. Because I live in the city. What the hell am I going to do with them? They're not anyway, things. Other than somebody. And by you know, the way, I heard an interesting thing today, uh, Phil, about yeah. about uh, the NRA and uh, the lack of Congress having any balls to do anything about all these school shootings. Mm -hmm. There have been municipalities and states who have passed laws. Mm -hmm. restricting gun ownership in their municipalities and guess what the NRA has filed suit good against some of them now here's more, what I heard today one. more municipalities and states and counties in this country need to do the same thing so that the NRA will file suit against all of them and drain their reserves hey I just that's a really a good that's a really good idea I, Vernon that's a They've good got all idea. the money that they need. Uh, you know, they get they get my fifteen hundred dollars over. Uh, 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 you know, I don't know if that's necessarily true. I mean, I'm wondering what's happening to their to their contributions uh, lately uh, since all of this, and whether people want to be associated with an what I consider to be an irresponsible organization. You know, I can see an organization to fight for the rights of gun owners and to try and uplift the uh, way in which people use guns. 
But the fact is, they're not proactive in stopping any of this or trying to attempt to stop any of this. They're just simply making excuses that it's not the gun's fault, it's the person's fault. Rather, than, rather than becoming proactive and, and going to schools and talking to kids and saying you shouldn't use guns, uh, you know, except when your parents uh, uh, go out with you and so on and so forth, they're not proactive at all. They're just excusing their bad the, behavior. The NRA uh, feels that they they don't want anything to chip to chip at the armor of the Second Amendment. Well, the Second so, Amendment has really never been. It has been sufficiently defined on many occasions in many different ways. I mean, yes, the current. One of the current Supreme Courts said it was a, uh, you know, it was a right that can't be infringed or whatever. Right. Uh, a, a Supreme Court in the 1930s said it was a collective right, not an individual right. Well, I guess uh, they uh, never actually made a decision in the 1930s. Anton Scalia, before he died, mm -hmm. issued a, an opinion that said that there's nothing wrong, nothing against the Second Amendment for states and localities to pass regulations about guns that's does not does not it uh, you know in other words you know, in other words chip away at now the second there are 30 states uh, that allow concealed carry and more each year uh, what what about ism no it's not what about ism well, yeah, it, it is about ism hey you know there's uh, i i read so what that my point is phil so what Oh, so what? Because it's counter to your argument. That's what so what? No, it's not. Concealed carry concealed carry just gets that mentality out there that if I'm packing, then I'm safe. Here in my state, we had a young man who just came back from his honeymoon and was out walking in a very safe part of Louisville, Kentucky. They were approached by a couple of young men with guns, and this guy whipped out his gun to protect his wife and he was shot dead Obviously. by the uh, hoodlums. So you know, a good guy with a gun didn't protect a bad guy with a bad guy with a gun. One. A good guy with a gun gets shot faster than a yeah yeah. Well, I, I don't. So uh, what's what's concealed carry going to do? Hey, you can concealed go. You know, hey, listen, there are other cases. There are, there are other cases, and 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 these are quite frequent. And the statistics, uh, I think, uh, hold it true is that a lot of people get killed with their own guns. More people get killed with their own guns than uh, get killed with somebody else's gun. That's, they and, need training. No, they need training. They, they now, can't get training they, they anymore, can, no, Phil, because they, they're, they're dead. They can get free training. There's a place uh, in Nevada right oh. outside of uh, Las Vegas called Front Sight. Look it up. Not if they're uh, dead. Huh? Not if they're dead. It's Not very hard dead. to get training well, if you're dead. There, there's a lot of statistics and videos showing people who have no, used their no gun i uh, how guns. about the people who have used their gun supposedly ostensibly to protect themselves from a home invasion and because they weren't able to bring themselves to pull the trigger and kill another human being had that gun rested away from them and ki were killed with their own gun all the more reason they need so the, and, and that there wasn't a gun involved in that particular robbery uh, and that what happened with that gun being there is it brought a gun into the equation. Oh, I, that's a whataboutism too. No, that isn't a whataboutism. That uh, that it, is, I've heard I've heard think. that story over and over again over the years yeah, of that look, look happening. Up front sight. Look at some of the training videos that they've got. Uh, I, I I have the NRA channel on my Roku. Do you? No. Oh well, I do. Uh, I do. I, just, I also have Scientology on it as well. I, I just reset my Roku, so I don't even have GabNet on it. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm sure, but um, I turn on the NRA. Well, I don't have a Roku. And there's so that there. fucking Donna Loesch, that whore, you know. Uh, you don't have a Roku? No. You got everything else. No, no Roku. No, I don't have CBS All Access either, but, you know. Oh. Yeah. I've got that, and I don't use it. Really? I, I Watch the free one, the uh, C N, uh, the C uh, C C B S or C B S N. Oh, C B S N. Oh, right. My wife wants me to subscribe to Britbox. It's a it's a new. 
pay-per-view thing that you can get with all these old British miniseries and things like that. I think it's called BritBox. Jack, uh, Jack is doing that. Uh, you could ask him on his show. Uh, well, here, here's the pro here's the problem. Uh, pretty soon, uh, everybody is going to be taking like Netflix is about ready to get into a, a bad the reason. They're doing a lot of their own programming is like, for instance, Marvel who, uh, D and Disney, who they have the rights to the Disney stuff, uh, is taking that away in about a year because they're starting their own Disney channel for pay. Okay, and then another company will come along and decide to do their channel for pay. And finally, the only way you're going to be able to see anything is to pay little 995s a month or 445s a month for, you know, 20 different channels. And you're going to wind up paying more money to see what you're seeing now because all of these people decide to start their own channel. Yeah, but you'll get what you want. What was this net neutrality thing that got uh, uh, voted on the other day? The Senate passed a net neutrality bill and sent it to the House, and there it's probably going to die. Yeah. Oh. In other words, it's to prevent the FCC from in, in enacting its uh, sanctions against net neutrality. Yeah. Yeah. But all I'm saying is, is that, you know, that we're going to get to the point where you're going to be paying for everything. I mean, it used to be you got Netflix, you got Hulu, yeah. and so you got a lot of stuff. But now you're going to have to start paying for all those things. What I don't have is the Chinese uh, uh, stations. I don't have the pay, uh, the uh, uh, where, you, where you buy stuff, uh, 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 QVC. I, I don't have any of those things because I didn't subscribe to them. With my Roku, I get what I want. I don't get what yeah, I don't want. Yeah, but all I'm saying is pretty soon you're going to be paying a tremendous amount of money just to get what you want. You uh, know, I'm finding that I don't need half of the ones that I have. Yes, but what I'm saying is, is that the day is going to come where for you to get one of the things that you really desperately want, you're going to have to pay a lot of money to get yeah. that. Well, uh, currently... I, I have Netflix, Showtime, uh, and uh, Hulu, uh, and and uh, what's not Spring? Uh, it's it's the one with about uh, forty channels. Uh, yeah, uh, I forget what they call it. We've been but, joined. Uh, we've been joined by Kevin. Hello, Kevin. Good evening. Yes, but all I'm saying is is that uh, you're not getting the point I'm trying to make, Phil, is that yeah. the expense of getting the channels getting the, you do want is the, is going to become really quite prohibitive. Well, uh, you, you feel like you're getting nickel and dimed if you go that way. Oh, and it's a sling. I'm getting sling. Well, and, yeah, but uh, a lot of the stuff that sling carries, eventually some of those people are going to opt out, start their own channel, charge you for it. That's a possibility. The uh, possibility, so of course. Possible. You know, like uh, um, CBS All Access yeah. is what four, five ninety-five a month, something like that. I, yeah. And if you I, want it without commercials, you pay nine bucks a month. Well, uh, I haven't looked at it in six months, so that's going to be one of the first ones to go. Yeah. Because now I'm getting uh, the only reason I got it was to see Big Bang Theory. Well, I haven't watched Big Bang Theory in a year. Yeah, well, so. I could tell you how you can get that for free. Well, now I get it on uh, a couple of other things. Um, I, I I get it on, uh, is it Hulu that has it or uh, uh, Sling? Sling, I think, has it. Well, I discovered the wonderful world of torrents by accident. Uh, years ago, I was living downtown. The cable company... Uh, my yeah. cable was terrible. It, it, you would watch it, and it would glitch constantly. Mm -hmm. And I called them up, and that uh, well, we'll send somebody. Oh, I don't think there's anything wrong in your building. We don't have any reports. And nobody else is reporting problems in your building. I'm going, well, see, I'm, it's glitching all the time. And this went on for about a month. And finally, I just said, there's got to be a way I can watch these shows without having them glitch. And I found that there were these torrent sites where they had TV shows. I, I had a torrent. And by the way, the torrents didn't have commercials in them, so it made them even more f easier to watch. So what, when, what was I, that? when I had a show I wanted to watch, 
I didn't want to watch it on glitchy TV, so I downloaded it. And that's how I learned. And I felt I had the right to steal those torrents because I was paying for the channels. There, there was okay. a, a, a one that got shut down. It was you, in. A you never asked me why, how the glitching stopped. Oh, uh, you paid your bill. No, uh, no. <laughs> No, it turned out they finally, after months of screaming at oh, them. Yeah, that was they, the water and the uh, they, they, and wires. They sent somebody, yeah, they sent somebody up and they, oh, oh, it's just your trunk that's having the problem in the building and we just didn't get enough complaints. I said, one is enough of a complaint for you to come out and look at it. And it turned out there was water in the wires and, and, and they fixed it and it was fine. But by then I had learned how to take these shows off of torrents. Fuck what em. was the what was the torrent that was out of Sweden that got shut down? It was something ship or. Well, uh, there were a lot of torrent sites. No, this was a movie one that uh, was uh, quite pervasive. Well, I mean, there were several of them. I mean, there was there was uh, what do you call it? There was, uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it, 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 it mass, they got shut down a couple. A mass times. pirate bay. That's it, pirate bay. pirate bay ship yeah. pirate bay. And uh, I had that, and I had some some sort of transmission thing uh, that uh, I needed to uh, to be able to view it. I, I guess that was uh, that was what you needed. Well, I mean, the, the thing book. is, the thing is that I, you know, I don't feel bad about stealing TV shows because I subscribe to all the channels anyway. The only advantage that you get when you watch them. Uh, no commercials. No, they cut out the commercials, and I like watching TV that way. And if if somehow a network like the CW that has a channel said, "Hey, you can subscribe to our channel for four bucks a month, and there aren't, won't be any commercials," I'd do it in a second. But you're not offering it to me that way, you know. Yeah. Am I am I telling people to go out and steal television? Sure, why not? It's free anyway. Yeah. You know. I have a DVR on my direct TV and I just record what I want to watch and I can zip past you the can zip past the commercial. But you know something? Yeah. I used to have a thing called replay. It was like the first TiVo kind of uh, a device and mm -hmm. it was called replay and it would record a show. If I set it, it would record the channel and the show and so on. You say, well, it's, okay, so that's legal. Yeah, that's legal. What they did is they had a button that you could press and it would zip the show ahead two minutes. So when you got to a commercial break, you didn't have to just speed forward. You just clicked once and you pretty much were there. If you and, only had a 60 and, second wait commercial. A minute, and the network sued them out of existence uh -huh. because of, of that one feature. That didn't they, they shut Sling down in New York? Uh, uh, it was something called a sling box. Sling originally was the sling box. In fact, Marjorie had one, and what it did is it allowed you to watch your cable anywhere you were. You could watch it on a computer anywhere that you were. Well, I can do that now with Sling. I can watch it on my phone. Or well, no, my but then, no, but you you have a limitation there. This was like you could literally change the channels that are on your I, home no, box. No, I can't. No, I can. I, I can watch it. Out you the field. can't. You you can't get QVC on it. Okay. No. Uh, no. I don't want. No, what I'm saying is, you could get any channel that you were subs that you had on uh, your cable box, and then watch it somewhere well, else. Okay, so it was. Uh, Sling it now is just a Sling. Sling is probably not as good a service. You could find a better service. I think Directv has a service that has a yeah. lot of channels. Uh, what's the other one? There's another one that has like 60 or Hulu 70 channels. Hulu, uh, Hulu has, uh, you can get it with, with uh, all these different channels. So, I mean, it, it, they, it, literally, I mean, this is the way you can do away with your cable box if you want to. And I did, which only done. because I got pissed at the cable station or yeah, company. Yeah, but still, <clears throat> you, as pissed as you are with the cable company, most times if you want that high-speed internet access... You have to use the cable company to get it. Well, I have so. that. Uh, I have the high-speed internet access. I got uh, one gig down and ten That's up. That's not fast. Well, it's faster than I had with Comcast. One gig down. One gig. Uh, the other uh, way around. No, no, it's what I view. What comes in is uh, is I think it's mm -hmm. gig. Uh, 
uh, and then uh, up is 10 meg. Basically, I've got a gig up and down practically, a little short yeah. of that. Yeah. Well, that's, you know, with all the stuff that you're doing, it makes sense to have. Oh, yeah, no, I've, I've, and it's a strong signal. It's, it's, uh, f it's fiber, and fiber is very strong, you know, very yeah. consistent. Use Metamucil. Yeah, right. No, I, I need AT and T has run a trunk through my neighborhood, but they haven't started uh, signing up customers yet. Yeah, um, uh, if if you can get fiber, I suggest it. I mean, it's it's pretty phenomenal. You they know, don't the, have it in my neighborhood. The the, uh, the, the, pi um, the the cable picture is even better. Yeah, you know. Yeah. The uh, uh, the shows on Netflix and so forth don't buffer like they were. Yeah. Uh, with the hundred and and uh, down and the ten up. Yeah, yeah. So, so it, it's it's working faster. It's just wave. It used to be called astound, mm -hmm. and I guess they had such bad service when they was were astound. They had to change the name. <laughs> oh, I found out something today. We mentioned it last night, and I should uh, I should uh, elucidate on it now because I found out what it is. We were talked about this new head of Fox, this woman. I can't remember her name. Now. Susan somebody. S Susan somebody. Uh, and she's the new head of Fox News, I believe. Uh -huh. And said that uh, it is all in anticipation of the creation of the new Fox. Mm -hmm. Well, it turns, you know what new Fox is? Nope. No money. No. Trump TV. No. Here's what's happening. Um, uh, what's his name? Um Murdoch, Murdoch uh, is selling off Fox. He's sending. He's selling off Fox Films. He's mm -hmm. selling off Fox FX. All the cable Foxes, but not the Fox TV and not Fox News. When he gets rid of those, those will become Fox, and whoever buys it will call them Fox. But he is going to call what is left New goat. Fox. Oh, not Goat. No, it's going to be called New Fox. So that's mm. where what the New Fox is. It's not like they suddenly saw the light of day and went, let's be honest. <laughs> you know, well, let's report some, the news somebody accurately. Said, somebody said that the technology is changing, and what he's doing is, uh, is um, proactive and uh, is actually going to be... No, I, I, no I, I think you've got it a little bit wrong. It's not that right. he's a visionary about the future. But he sees the future as a future in which owning a movie company isn't going to be any great shakes. Right. You yeah. know, and that the real value is in, uh, for instance, the news is something that uh, uh, can't uh, be, you know, digitized on the Internet and whatever. But the, what he's mm. getting rid of are the things he feels are going to wind up fast becoming the old technology. Yeah. He, he wants to get away, I think, get rid of the Fox network. Because he doesn't believe network TV is is going to be a factor in another year or two, you know, and, and I think he's right. So he's getting rid of all the dead weight before he's getting rid of it at a time when he can get a good price for it. He's getting top dollar yeah. for those. If he waited a couple of years, he wouldn't get top dollar for it. So mm -hmm. that's why he's getting rid of it. But what will be left? Uh, Fox News will remain. Uh, under the Murdoch banner, as well as uh, well, I can't remember what else. I, is he keeping Fox Films? I, I don't think so. I think he's actually getting rid of 20th Century Fox Films. That'll probably be bought up by Disney. I mean, they own everything now, so why shouldn't they own that? You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so that's that, that's what new Fox is. So I just wanted you to know, so you wouldn't think that they actually saw God and decided to change their evil ways. Now, you think that the people that are buying old Fox are going to be satisfied with him calling his thing new Fox? You know, if Fox I'm, is what I'm, I'm sure there's something in the, in the, you know, the sales that says uh, you can use the names of Fox News, uh, not, excuse me, Fox this or Fox that, but, uh, you know, I still can use the name new Fox. You know, and they have to go along with it. Or they don't they get to buy the thing. Huh. Yeah, it's funny what's in a name. Uh, my friend invented something in radio called New Country. That was his format. And then uh, maybe 15 years later, they came up with Young Country. And that knocked out New Country. And uh, yeah, yeah, that was the end of his job. <laughs> anyway, so that's what, that's what New Fox is. So. 
it's not, don't, don't, don't get excited, folks. Don't think they're suddenly seeing the error of their ways, you know, and that Hannity is going to be out in the street corner with a cup. No, it's not, uh, it's not in, the, in the offing. No. Did you hear the story? Did you hear the story where Bill Gates had to explain to Donald Trump the difference between HIV and HPV? <laughs> no, really? Well, Bill 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 Maher said, "Well, HPV is what you get from a porn star, and HIV is what you get from Hannity." Uh, Ooh! <laughs> Bada boom! Bada boom! <laughs> yeah. Well. Hey. What? Both hurt HPV. What were you saying, Kevin? I said they both hurt when you pee. They both hurt when you pee. <laughs> you think Scott's raising his hand? Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> Which one? Which one, Scott? <laughs> both of them. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, anyway, so uh, let me see here. What else? Uh, what else is new? Is there anything else new? Oh, because you know, I'll tell you what happens. And, and I'm going to complain about it again because whenever we have a tragedy like happened today in Texas, and Scott, that was near you, or wait, not, wait, wait, that wait, was yesterday. Can, can I do this? Thoughts and prayers. Yeah. No, no, it happened today. Jesus Christ! I know. Today. Huh? Uh, that's right. It was today. Yeah, it happened today, and it happened in, in Texas. Near Houston now. It was, is in Houston, no, south, just south of Houston. Yeah. yeah, you hear and, all these guys on the uh, thoughts and prayers. Houston is is south of Plano, uh, but it's in your. I call it your area because it's Texas. You know, oh, uh, it's a small place. But yeah, once, just a couple of weeks after the NRA convention, right? Wait, one, once this happened, all of a sudden you could plan on the fact that every network that you would tune into, cable network, was covering this thing end to end. Over and over and over and over and over, I, you know, and that's you, when I fired up my DVR and started watching stuff that I'd recorded. Uh, yeah, I went. Uh, it went from eight to ten dead to a couple hours later, ten dead. You know, I mean, nothing much happens, and then they all go down there. All of a sudden, they they descend on. Um, they were to say what was what was the place in Texas, Scott? It's not near something. Santa Fe. Uh, well, Santa Fe. Santa, uh, Santa Fe, and then they were uh, they they attacked Alvin, which is right next door to those those houses that the kids lived in, I guess. Yeah. Alvin. There was another house. There was another house a couple of miles away that they attacked, and they were bouncing between the three of those houses. Who was bouncing? So two well, houses. Well, wait a minute. Well, hold on a second. Oh. Who was bouncing? Because I didn't follow the story that closely. Well, there was a there was a local. They bounced to a local guy that was outside one of the houses that where the uh, where one of those kids lived, I guess. Uh huh. And they were supposedly trying to get to the where I guess uh, probably where their kid was building the bombs or whatever. Okay, but the main place this took place was in, was was in Santa Fe. Yeah, it, it was, was at the high school. Well, yeah. it was possible. All, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, these news people descend on this town like pigeons on popcorn. Yep. You know, and and they pick away and pick away and they're stopping people who are running away from the disaster. So two, uh, one person was being interviewed and they were saying, well, we don't know where our daughter is. We hope she's going to be OK. And then somebody comes over and says, come quickly. Your daughter's dead. Oh, geez. you know, and I'm thinking, you know, just go s report the story. But you don't have to get down there and 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 exploit these people. Just before your show, the news released two names of two students that were killed. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, you but, would think that they would keep the stuff private because they've got relatives all over the country, maybe, and, uh, you know, you don't want to... Well, the parents may have released it. We don't, we don't know the, the reason why they released those names. But the point I'm making is, is that then I tune in the 630 News... And who is in Santa Fe, Texas, on the streets <laughs> doing his newscast? Lester, Lester fucking Holt. I bet, yeah, that was a guess. And I'm thinking to myself, the story broke at, I guess I remember first seeing it about 11 o'clock this morning, Eastern yeah. Time. Yeah, it was about 8 o'clock their time, yeah. How, what do they do? They get a private jet? To Texas to get, yeah. Lester, yeah, sure. yeah. to get Lester yeah. Holt out there. And then when Lester Holt is out there, you're going, 
why the fuck is Lester Holt there? Was I'm, Wolf Blitzer there in a flat jacket? I have no idea. But I said, <laughs> said to myself, why, why the fuck is Lester Holt there? How is he going to help the situation? He's just going to simply compound the situation by being there. You know, uh, but the only reason they send him out, bragging rights, so they can then have the promo later on. Here we are in uh, Santa Fe, blah, blah, blah. Poor kids. Look, oh, mother just found out her kid's dead. Blah, blah. And you're going, this is they, just pure exploitation on the part of the news people. There's they also nothing, had the Parkland well, kids. Well, wait a minute. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong, okay, yeah. with having a reporter on the scene. But why does Lester Holt have to fly to Houston? Why can't he be there talking to the reporter? You know? Yeah, uh, a local reporter. But they even had the Parkland kids making comment on uh, what was going on. Oh, you on. knew they were going to hit the Parkland kids. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. Know, and, you knew the, and you knew the Parkland kids were going to have something to say about it. You know. Jeff had his hand up. Yes, Jeff. As soon as uh, I started hearing about a whole bunch of kids who are getting killed in Texas. He turned it off. It's, I don't know, it just doesn't do anything good for me. Well, What's why, next? and one of the reasons that you had to turn it off was that you knew nothing was going to change. They were going to just keep drilling at the same story over and over again, that you got the fact. The fact was... Eight kids, ten kids killed in uh, in Santa Fe, Texas, and that that was the story. Uh, and you just went, I don't have to listen to this over and over and over. And, and who else said they? Uh, uh, Vernon said he turned his TV set off. And well, I, tur I, in fact, I turned mine off. To be honest with you, the only reason I had it on a little more than the rest of you is because I was getting ready to do my little uh, news break thing. Uh, and I knew I had to have the newest story on it. You know, I had to be I could, fresh with I it. I couldn't turn it off. You couldn't turn it off? Why? Nope. Because I had a daughter I just sent off to school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I couldn't turn it off. How did I watched it over and over and over again, and it was a loop over and over again. I switched from MSNBC over to CNN, over to Fox over to CNN, over to MSNBC. I watched it over and over and over again. I and I drilled thing. that shit into my head. I don't know why. Well, yeah, that, and my watching. question is, my question is, Kevin, why? I mean, I, I have I, no idea why. I, I, know I know you why. have a daughter you just sent off to school, uh, but uh, if I had a She's daughter uh, at school, I think I would turn this off and not... I wanted, I wanted to know every little bit about it. But I know why those segments keep repeating. Uh, if it's like my TV, what happens is I go to this Fox, for instance, and they and they have these segments that last maybe three or four minutes, and they just loop, and then they go to the yeah. next one and the next. Yeah, they're one. loops. And they're and loops. Uh, and the same thing happens with the other ones. So it's not live. It's just these loops, and they just keep. Well, they have they have a live shot, and then they have two loops going on the side, and then they have the commentator sitting there talking about it. And I, my 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 feeling is that I want to know why the guy did it or who did it, and that that's I just want to know what. I think they said it. he was. It a takes Nazi. forever to get it, but yeah. I want to know what why the guy did it. There were some reports that he was either a neo-Nazi or uh, no, he, no, uh, you know no. you get all that shit and you don't hear yeah. anything until the very end, but it just. Uh, well, also, I don't know. also, what you do get, Kevin, what you do get by watching it constantly is every rumor that comes. Every up. rumor. Every and, rumor. And the first thing they were talking about is, oh, the guy had a trench coat, and I said, you know what, kids wear trench Cotton. coats all the time. Yeah. That's bullshit. You know, you can't judge them on a trench coat. They were. That's the first thing I said. Yeah, they and, were. And they said, oh, well, it's ninety degrees out. That should have been a sign. Said, That's not a sign. You know, he, no he, could, he, he could have been a, the first thing I thought day. was, oh, he's a fa fan of Kevin Smith's, you know. They, yeah, they, you know, said, uh, they said there was no signs that uh, there was no signs. Eventually, yeah, they said he, he wore was, the trench he, coat he, every day. They said he was very quiet and that he'd been bullied. There was some rumor that he had been bullied. Uh, and then I heard things that he was uh, fairly popular. You know, I mean, they were they were all over the place. Yeah, so and that's that's the kind of stuff that I look at is is, is all the the reporting that goes on, and you try and 
Okay, but Kevin, shit. You, of all of us, you watch this thing more than we did all day. Okay? And I got nothing out of and it. That's what I was going to ask. What did you get yeah. out of it? I got nothing out of it. By the end of the day, I got that the guy got caught. He went to jail. And what everybody else got out of it by turning it off. I got the same oh, thing. You know, one line I heard from, from a local policeman, I guess the sheriff or whatever, was holding a press conference, is he said, and I, I you know, I just I, I recoiled at this thing. He said, and this guy didn't even have the guts to kill himself. Uh, I think they took him down before. And, 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 and wait a minute, wait a minute. He said he didn't have the guts to kill himself because he, he was supposedly planning suicide or whatever, but he didn't have the guts to take his own life. And I'm thinking, what, what, what kind of guts does it take to take your own life? You know, yeah, I mean, no and problem. what kind of a stupid statement is that on the part of a constabulary? You know, I mean, yeah. a ridiculous statement. But all I'm saying is, well, he had planned on taking his own life, and uh, they got him before he could. Or he just never got around to doing it, Phil, because he was a coward like this sheriff was trying to imply. He didn't have the guts to kill himself. Yeah, he didn't have the guts to kill himself and save us the time of having to figure out what's wrong with him. Quite and frankly, I'm glad he's alive, and I'm glad the guy down in Parkland is still alive, because at least, you know scientists can go in and, and talk to these people and find out what was going through their head and perhaps that's, find out some of the things that go on to, to make this thing happen. Didn't they that's just the say, one thing I wanted to hear was, was he alive or not? That's yes. what I wanted to hear. And, and who else was involved with him so they can put him into a room and find out what the heck was in his head. He was 17, but there's some 18 year old that uh, either wasn't there. And the reason that this happened now was that he had that explosion and so he decided to move on his plan early so the other guy wasn't there that was also his well they said there's a person of interest spot. but usually those persons of interest never amount to anything yeah uh now uh, during i i had also heard that uh, during the columbine shooting they didn't know uh what the motive was but uh, uh a long time later they found this guy's diary uh, and it's just being exposed now. And the uh, uh, the guy kept a journal, and uh, and so now they're going through this journal and they're discovering a lot of information. I guess they took everything he had out of his room or apartment and inventoried it, but didn't look through it. Yeah, and what's the NRA going to say? What, what are we going to hear from the NRA it has on this? Nothing to do with the NRA. The kid took the guns illegally. The father didn't store them properly. It has nothing to do yeah, with the I NRA. Know, I'm, I'm, no, that, no, it's I funny you should mention, you should say that, Phil, because that's exactly what the NRA is going to say. Well, it's the truth. That's how they're going to excuse the situation. They, they don't have to excuse it. Well, maybe if there were no it's guns the around, the father wouldn't have had them, huh? And, and and if you didn't have the internet, the kid wouldn't know how to put together one of those pressure cooker bombs like he built. You know, I mean, uh, uh, you know, before, if if he used a, uh, a semi-automatic weapon, then that would have been your... Phil, uh, if you've got something that's dangerous and it's available to somebody, uh, they can use it. If you yeah, make it harder I'll for that to be available... Maybe they'll think twice before they wind up doing something. Yeah, what about a 1992 Cadillac and the kid sits out in front where everybody loads up on the bus and he drives down the sidewalk and mows down 100 kids? That you know, you're going to take you're going to take those off the street because uh, uh, you, How you could, you, often has that happened? This plenty. Year? Wait a minute. Plenty. Wait a minute. How often has that happened this year? Uh, well, it happened in uh, London. Uh, no, uh, it had that that was last year. This year. Okay. So what's a few months? This year there was a, there was a case of it in Canada. Yeah. Okay. How many yeah. how many schools have had shootings this year, Phil? It does it doesn't matter. They if they didn't have guns, they'd use Cadillacs. Oh, really? You think this kid would have used a Cadillac? Nineteen ninety two, or Home Depot trucks? Yeah, Home Depot trucks. Exactly. Or they would have commandeered one. And, and done it like they did uh, on the London Bridge. Could, could there be a possibility that they did it the way they did it because the guns were readily available? 
Yeah, and it's the fault of the parent. Yeah. Not the Whereas, fault of the as the keys to the car may not have been. If if he wanted to have keys to the car, he'd find a way Plus, to get them. Plus, it's very difficult to drive your Cadillac into a classroom and down the halls of a of a. Of, it's of, just of a, a matter of school. timing, Alex. You sit outside until the kids are getting on or off the bus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You go down the side. Good. I hope we have a lot of a lot of disenchanted kids out there listening who'll take your advice, uh, Jeff. Nine ninety five, <laughs> and you get the printed version. Wait a minute, your mic isn't on, you're, you're Jeff. You're muted, Jeff. You're muted. Yep. Do we think that, that the father is going to be arrested? I hope so. I really hope so. But I don't think there's any rules. That, He's a uh, minor, that, and, and the kid was a minor. The father uh, uh, had the guns, and well, they you, we, felt we we don't. Uh, by the way, we should say all of this is conjecture because at this point yes. it's still all yeah. a case of rumor. Uh, because well, Lester Holt said so. Yeah, right. Well, fuck Lester yeah. Holt. <laughs> Next time, Lester, stay home and don't annoy grieving people. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, you know, yeah, Jeff. I I hope. I hope that the father is held responsible for the son's actions. I really well, do. Well, I mean, hope is one thing, but uh, I guess I'm asking, is there any rules or, or laws that, that would cover him? There is if you serve liquor to somebody and they get in the car and kill somebody and you're a uh, bartender. Well, you then know, the one thing that you seems to, seems to be lost on you, and it, it seems to get lost in this discussion, there are eight to ten people whose lives they had ahead of them, who are never mm-hmm. going to be able to live out that promise. And uh, that's what we forget. These, they're dead. They're not coming back. And the well, reason they're dead is they all have a bullet in them. Okay. Well, that teaches you that you never know when your last moment is going oh, to be. Oh, gee, to make, Phil, you I, always I, derail I, a conversation from the direction I it was going because better. you don't have an answer to what I just said. Hey, the, what, what, there is no answer to what you just said. A maniac got a hold of a weapon, and it doesn't matter if it was a shotgun or a 92 Cadillac. Let me ask you a question. When did he become a maniac? When he started pulling the trigger. That's correct. And 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 nobody's a maniac till they pull the trigger. And what yes, we got to do is we got to stop it. giving them the ability to be maniacs. Yeah. Well, then why don't we just take books? Oh, and, and by uh, the way, and, our president, uh, our president sent his thoughts and prayers today. Our thoughts and prayers. Yeah, right. Thoughts and prayers. And uh, we've got to do something about this. Didn't he say that after Parkland? Yeah. I think he said the same and, thing. And now, what? And, they, and and what's happened? Has anything they happened? They apprehended that guy because nothing, I think somebody nothing. had a gun. What? What? What did you say, Vernon? Nothing's happened. Nothing. Zero. Now, Zilch. Uh, they not. Yeah. Ted Cruz said the same thing today underneath his little tent, too. Hey, when they apprehended uh-huh. the shooter, was it because somebody had a gun and was able to uh, was able to apprehend him? Hmm? Uh, did, didn't a, a school police? Who gives a big rat's well, crap no, but about that's, that, but Phil? Wait a minute, the Vernon. People are already dead by that's then. That's what you said about uh, Trump, that nothing happened. Now, Trump said that he wanted to put armed uh, uh, people in the school to be able to counteract this. And and I believe that's that is what happened. And there was two of them there today that has not been proven out ever. That there was two of them there today in schools would reduce the number of people getting killed. Scott, uh, since we can't see you, but you yelled something in the. I I thought I thought they said that one of the police or the resource officers got shot. It was, yeah, there was two of them uh, there today. There was there was a uh, a substitute teacher got shot and killed, I believe. Two resource officers were there today. One got shot. Okay, and yeah. but did and, they stop the threat at some point? You know, could more more people have been? Uh, they shot? slowed it down. Yes. Yeah. Now, okay. how did they catch him though? That's what I don't. What I, I, think I did he run so, out of bullets. I don't. One know. of the resource officers. Wait, wait what did you say, Scott? Stop. I, I didn't know because he didn't have an automatic. I didn't know if he ran out of shotgun shells or bullets in his uh, six. He had a six shooter, didn't he? Yeah, yeah uh, but Ke- Kevin knew. Uh, Kevin the resource was, officer was slowed it down, and then the other officers arrived right in time. I see. So it was it was a quick response. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Because there was uh, two resource officers there. One went down with an injury. The other one went in, and then the chief was actually on the way to the school at the time. And then their response was almost immediate. Yeah. So it was a quick response. Yeah, uh, and it, could, it could have been worse. It could have been worse, yeah. Yeah. So, so but who caught him? That's my question. Uh, one, not, one of the resource officers, I believe. Oh, one of the resource officers, okay. That, uh, a and guy. a resource uh, officer is what a a, a guard? good guy with a gun. That's is a it. is a cop that's assigned to the school. I see. Okay, so there you go, Phil. They had yeah. the, look. They had they had two resource officers assigned to that school. One of them got killed, and nope, in spite of the shot, fact no, that you got hurt, got he hurt. Didn't get killed. Okay, uh, uh, you had two resource officers at that school, and somehow there's still ten people dead. Right, but it would have been worse if they weren't there. And you can thank Donald Trump for putting them there. No, you just said he ran out. He just said he ran out of bullets. No, he didn't. We don't know that he ran out. I I don't know. I I was just. I didn't know if that's. He didn't have a big arsenal with him. I don't think he had some bombs, but. Yeah. No, and the and the school was not uh, a high security school. It was not high. It had a lot of entrances. It wasn't one of those hardened schools. Yeah. Oh. Well, so what are we going to do with school? Words, what, are we, what, are we gonna, what, yeah. what are we going to do with yeah, schools correct. now? Are we going to turn all of them into into armed fortresses? Are that's we what gonna... it's come to. I mean, that's hey, what it's come York to. Are. Hey, you know, you look at a school in New York. Uh, you know, they're they're fortresses. My daughter's school has become a jail. I mean, yeah, I, I, two years ago it was an open school. I go by it now and. It's locked down. It's got bars around the how, whole damn thing. How, how, many, how, how, how many parents, how many parents, uh, Kevin, since you have kids of school age, do you know who rather than send their kids to school now are doing homeschooling? There's wow. quite a few. I don't know how many, but there's quite a few. It's it's. And is it as a result of this fear of, of what goes on at school? I don't know so much it's that, but it's more people don't like the school system, period. Right. Yeah. Yeah, right. You know, they don't think the kids are getting yeah. the quality of education. Yeah, I think it's probably more that than anything else. Yeah, Jeff, your hand is up. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of people that I know who uh, teach their kids at home, and, and uh, rather than school. But usually, when they get to the level of of uh, high school, mm-hmm. they need to interact. They switch. Yeah. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. Put them into a regular school. Well, they need to socialize them. You know, well, because they miss some of You know, they, they've already figured out how to handle the socialization. Uh, a lot of them who are home teaching yeah. also have meetings. Yeah. Go yeah, and I think it's probably easier to... Together. So there's a whole uh, group that knows how to handle it. Yeah, it's a little easier to teach elementary and, and middle school too. Yeah. By the way, Scott, if you have anything you want to say, you know, you can always flash that yeah. light you have. Yeah. And, and we can flash something. Yeah. The what are you school? doing there in the dark? Yeah. yeah send SOS or something. Uh, uh, just let your screen light up your face for a second. They can actually see you there. There we go. He's slowly appearing out of the dark. <laughs> there. <laughs> Uh, there's there's a word for that kind of lighting when you light from the bottom, uh, 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 Dracula lighting or horror. Lighting. It's called bad called bad creepy. lighting. Um, yeah, yeah. With the hat. Yeah. The funny thing is that my high school uh, didn't have any of these lockdown things. Didn't have didn't lock the doors. You're an old sure fart felt, for crying out loud. Wait crap. a minute, but it sure felt like a prison. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> No, the worst we had was duck and cover or, or the, the air raid drills. Oh, I remember those. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes. yes, Jeff. Phil, when Phil went to high school, were you allowed to bring a gun to school? Yes. Not No, not high school. Uh, when I was in first grade or second grade, I actually brought uh, uh, two guns to school for show and tell. Uh, they were antiques, but they were guns. One was a Civil War uh, rifle, and the other was an old 38 revolver with a pearl handle. And uh, they passed it around in the class, and everybody looked, and you know, it was, and, you know uh, today, 
uh, people would get arrested. That there, there'd be SWAT teams. I wonder how much those things are <laughs> worth because I I'm, I become a fan of the show Pawn Stars. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm sure there it's were. What worth, I, it's what I call the Redneck I, uh, Antiques Roadshow. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. Pretty much in the early. But uh, today they're probably worth a lot. Uh, no, but you, you know what I saw. You, you know what I saw tonight. I was watching um, uh, the show uh, "I'm Dying Up Here," which is about comedians. And this woman goes home uh, to visit her, and this takes place in the. Is this uh, episode three or two? Uh, two. Okay. Uh, so. uh, they they go uh, to the. Uh, she goes home to her family, and this takes place in the mid '70s. And she's not. And she brings a present for her nephew. And it's a Both toy, guns. a toy gun with cats. Two, yeah, <laughs> two of them. And yeah. and uh, he's going around going bam, bam, bang, and and I I thought about it. And does anybody buy their kids toy guns anymore? I remember my big thing when I was a kid is I actually won a Hopalong Cassidy whole two gun holster set. You know, That's with the kid with the caps. Yeah. And, yeah. and but do parents even buy those things? I actually saw I saw a, uh, I was at the Roaring Camp Railroad over in Santa Cruz last weekend, and I actually saw a package of the caps. Wow. You know yeah. the rolls of yeah. caps? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There was four of them in this little plastic caps. Four ninety nine for them suckers. Wow. You know, we used to buy those for. We used to buy those for like cents. ten cents. Right. And, and Marjorie, and we, Marjorie we'd mentions nail them with a hammer. On Marjor the old, Marjorie, the old damn roll with a hammer. Marjorie <laughs> mentioned something about them, and she said, "What I loved is when you use them, the smell of, yeah. The, yeah, uh, yeah. of the caps." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what the best smell was when we were in school? The uh, the ditto paper. Remember the uh, the, the oh, paper? Yeah. It, it was like a purple color, and you could yeah, smell yeah. it. Yeah, the best smell I it. ever had when I was younger was pussy. But that's another story altogether. <laughs> This is even earlier than Pussy. <laughs> oh, I see. No, I remember Ditto. Yeah, no, she, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Ditto was uh, the uh, cheap version of the mimeograph. Yeah. yeah but yeah, people yeah. who are listening to us paper. don't even know what the fuck we're talking about. It was carbon the paper. Morse code. The difference <laughs> was, what it was, is, is a mimeograph, where you cut a stencil, and you typed on it, and you could draw on it, and things like that, and then you put it on this bar, on this roller, on the yeah. drum, that's and then, and no, wait a minute. Then ink went through it, and then went through the stencil, and you could do hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these things. But the ditto, the ditto machine, was the to ditto that. machine had its limitation. Ditto yeah. machine was basically indel indelible ink, and when yeah. you did whatever you did on it, you then put it on a drum, and it combined with, uh, I think it was like ether or something, I don't know, alcohol or whatever, Alcoholic. and it yeah. would print, but it could only print up to like about 50 copies before you ran out of the indelible ink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so that was the difference between the, the ditto machine was the cheap mimeograph. Yeah, but if, then if they threw away the little purple uh, uh, type of paper that they made the ditto out of, and you retrieved it, you had the test questions, and uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. you read them backwards. Um, yeah. So anyway, let's let's take the last few moments of this program tonight to to talk about a uh, a happier topic, uh, and, and that of course is the nuptials, which will be taking place within uh, I, think, I think the next uh, maybe the next four hours, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, between Ma Ma Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. How much you want to bet Markle's father shows up unexpectedly? No, he can't. Uh, he, did he have the operation? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Wednesday. Uh, and let me let's face it. He's Phil, eating a drumstick right now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, um, Extra it, crunchy. And he he's in Mexico, by the way. That's where he was operated on. Oh, it was he, cheaper. He, no, he lives in Mexico. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, but uh, I I I I I think they're a lovely couple. I really do. Yeah. You know, hello hello uh, Jack. We, we wish hello them well. Hello there, Mr. Bennett. Jack Bishop has joined us, folks. And Jacob Bartle is a combination of Jack and myself, uh, half black, half Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> you know, is she half Jewish? I didn't know yeah, she she's was half Jewish. She half Jewish? Her father's Jewish. She's lovely. She's really yes, lovely. She is. Yes, she is. Or as and, we uh, as we like to call it, a real piece of ass. And as somebody who found out recently that he's almost a quarter percent Irish, 
you figure out the mathematics on that field. Yeah. Hey, heard you guys talk- of a percent or 25 percent. Yeah, but anyway, I think they're a lovely couple, and uh, I, you know, I think it's going to work out very nicely. I don't think I think it's going to be a very successful marriage. And she seems Jack, like a very intelligent woman. What? Jack, 25% well, Irish. Are you speaking with a brogue yet? Trying it. Okay. Uh, well, I uh, heard you guys talking about cap pistols. Yeah. And uh, one of my proudest possessions is a 1954 cap pistol that my grandmother gave me for a Christmas present. And uh, here... Um, Recently, I was in one of the big box stores near my house, mm-hmm. and they had cap pistol sets. I was I was shocked. Really, With the big I, orange cap at the end, right? Big orange cap at the end, but I was yeah. still shocked. And they put that big orange cap on the end so it won't be mistaken for a real gun. I think yeah, is that, the reason. That, every gun has to be sold that way now. Yeah, that's supposedly the idea. Now the gang members are painting the tips of their guns orange. Exactly. (laughs) Well, it just shows progress. Right. Uh, But, um, you know, I I remember, like, I think it was Phil, uh, I never took a gun to school. Did you take that one? But I took that cap pistol to school. Yeah. You know, and all of these shootings prove that we are in greater need of mass public mental health screening yeah. than any goddamn body suspects. Yeah. But uh, why why us? I mean, why are we as a nation so mentally deranged that this happens in such great abundance? I mean, you don't find this to this hmm. extent in England. I mean, you can talk about terrorists with knives, Phil, but that's that's a different. That's a different. That's not endemic to England. Try to discipline a kid here. They tell you, I'll. Uh, my teacher says I can have no, you arrested. No, 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 if, that's bullshit too. There's something no. wrong with the mentality of this country, the mindset of this country. Yes. And I think you you actually exemplify it, Phil. At I mean, with your gun talk and everything like that. You know, there's half of them and and they're called Democrats. That's what's wrong with the mindset of this country. Well, wait a minute. We think there's something wrong with you conservatives. And I think we've got proof of it. Yeah. uh, I okay. I I was (laughs) I was reading a very interesting article that uh, uh, about um, uh, Citizens United. And uh, and it seems as though, you know, the Democrats think that they're helping the poor, uh, the poor and the downtrodden by uh, going against Citizens United. And uh, what the Republicans are saying is it's is it's killing free speech if you don't have it. And uh, no, what is, so it's what it's what it's what it's killing. What it's killing is the overfinancing of a particular opinion. You know, that's well, not free speech. That is using, uh, that is bludgeoning people into believing stuff. Well, look at this last election. Bernie Sanders says he didn't take more than $27 from, a, from an individual. Trump says he financed the thing himself. The only person who took money was Hillary Clinton. To begin with, yeah. he, I, don't, I don't think that Donald Trump financed it himself because nope. I don't he think he's not. got enough money. Well, uh, he, yes, he, uh, yes uh, Jack. It. He didn't spend that much. If you want to open up free speech in the political arena, you have to finally uh, mandate. That's the word I'm using. You have to mandate that the radio and TV stations as public trustees. Remember that, Alex? Yep. As public trustees must donate the time. That's true. They should. If uh, if they're going to give time to one candidate, they the should give time. The only question to- you come up with, though, Jack, and it becomes the mm-hmm. thorny question is, then does that mean that everybody, you and I, get the same amount of money as anybody else? Or how do we say they're qualified to be able to get that free time on broadcast? They, they did it based on uh, the polls, I think, uh, this last well, time. You know, that that's if he too. Because what, that, what you're saying then is that the little guy can't somehow become the big guy by having people hear his voice. Right. And that's what they did to Lawrence Lessing. When uh, Lawrence Lessing you're uh, talking wasn't about, allowed... You're talking debate. about a different thing. You're talking about campaign finance funding. Right. Yeah. Different thing than what I'm talking about. Yeah, well, right. Now, and, and Phil, 
you but take you guys the funding, like you need the funding to put the ads on. No, the Not TV if it's free. Ad, the TV and radio stations should be mandated to give the time because they don't well, actually. Why oh. Alex Alex said, well, how do you give the time to a guy that has absolutely very little support? It's very and, simple because and, and because you know, simple. let's face it, people don't gain support unless they get the publicity. Right. Okay. So if you uh, are saying that we're going to enforce, uh, we're going to tell television radio stations they have to give the time away free, are they going to put qualifications on who can get that free time and in what abundance? Lawrence Lessig uh, was, uh, had 1% in two polls, and then the DNC said, and, and that would have been enough to put him on the podium in the debate. And then the DNC said they changed the thing that he had to be in three or four polls so that they could keep him off the stage. And, uh, you know, I don't agree with. Well, I think I think that every goofy bastard who wants to run for president, including a guy wearing an Uncle Sam costume, should be allowed on that podium. Yes, uh, Jack. Yeah. Hey, Phil, we take smart guys like me and you. We lock us in a room. We (laughs) work it out. And we don't come out until we have worked it out. And well, we start taking away privileges from us while we're in there debating and wrangling with each other till we get so damn sick and tired of being with each other, we cut a deal. That's the American way. Be, you just had a smoke-filled room, and uh, that's the way it was done. The, the fact well, the fact is that there are two parties in America, and that's it. And if you're not running on one of those two parties, uh, you, uh, you, you, you don't have a chance. Uh, Forrest Gump came up with the pot party. Yeah, but I mean, you, you know, you don't, you, you just not, you're not going to win. There's no way you're going to win, or well, that you're even going to really get heard or be taken seriously. But and, Alex, it depends really on what we start, when we start talking about that. Alex, it depends upon what level we're talking about. Right. You had Perot, you had Anderson. These guys uh, ran as independents. Why? Why and wouldn't they? And both of them, neither of them, had a chance to become president. One got of the United twenty percent, and the other got twelve percent. Wallace got nineteen twenty percent fifty shit. years ago. Uh, it's it's a lot when you consider that Perot kept uh, uh, George W. H. Uh, w. Bush out of the White House. But look, here's the thing: we always we always focus at the highest land uh, at the highest office in the land. That's not where the action is. Where the action is, is in the House, even more so than the Senate. And there are districts where alternate party candidates can win. Amy and I have thought about that for years, but then again, I'm goofy and so is she. But I can think of some districts in my state, as red as it is, that a socialist could win in. Shock of shocks. But the Socialist Party, because it's so Anglo and so intellectual, doesn't look at those districts. And they don't but know what how to did, what, But let's look at a national level. What did they use to demean Bernie Sanders? Even our friend Phil here would use it to demean Bernie Sanders. Oh, he's a socialist. Our media said he's a socialist and he cannot win. Yeah. But he was running for the top ticket. And yes, he was a socialist. And I say this up front. He was a socialist and he could not win. But somebody running as a socialist in a black congressional district in Texas could win. Well, Bernie Sanders was a socialist, but they made sure he couldn't win. The DNC was what made sure he couldn't win. Well, Bernie was not it. Bernie was not a member of that club. You yeah. know, he had never been a Democrat. It he, was, he ran well, as an independent. Or the Republican club he, either. He simply he voted with the Democrats, but he was an independent and still is. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And he was, wasn't a member of the club. And to think that you're gonna win. Uh, it, it's like any other, um, uh, I don't know what you call it. It's yeah. like uh, any other uh, little club organization. You're not going to win. Okay. Well, hey, listen, Trump I, 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 I got I to gotta remind Jack that he has to leave us at this time. Oh, oh, good goodness gracious. Yes, look at that uh, clock. Yeah, because he's got a show to do next with uh, Amy Manuel. It's called The Intersection right after us. Okay. Thank you. you. I got to say goodbye to everybody else, too. Scott, 
uh, show us yourself just for a second, if you can. There we go. He's in the dark. He's like in the backyard. Hey, at least he didn't go to sleep like uh, yeah. somebody did on my show the other night. Uh, who fell asleep <laughs> last, uh, on your show? Mike, I think. Mike. Mike? Mike? Okay, yeah. yeah. I think Mike <laughs> fell asleep on our show once, too. Well, he's your problem now. Vernon Nunn, <laughs> thank you so much for being with us. We love having you here. Kevin, thank you. Phil, as always, thank you. Uh, and a big thanks to uh, to Jeff for being with us tonight as well. And, of course, to Jack, who just joined us. Uh, what I'd like you to do is big, give a big wave goodbye to everybody. There we go. That's our Citizens Panel for tonight. That's our Citizens Panel wrapping up this week. And they're a fine bunch of people. Yes, they are. Jack and Amy are next with the intersection. That's followed at 1 o'clock Eastern uh, Daylight Time by Connections. Uh, we're off, of course, as usual, for the weekend. And then we'll be back in, uh, next Tuesday. And we're starting out at 9.30 with Damien Chaplin and the Exchange. And then I will see you. Yes, I will. Promise it. At 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. We'll also see you during the daytime uh, with our uh, breaking news reports. In the meantime, or not breaking news, our news break reports. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Have a nice weekend, everybody. Mm -hmm.